It's almost like a Petri dish where you can kind of like add water and create your own celebrity. Social media has changed the game for what fame actually looks like now. You could be famous for different things. People might like how they dress. They might like their lifestyle. You could have 8 million followers, but the mass don't necessarily know who you are. Fame has been set free of celebrity. It's not like when Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson were stars, and now everyone is a superstar. Instagram influencers, my parents might know nothing about them. So when I say someone like Lucas Dell, they're gonna be like, who's that? But if I go on my college campus, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. There was a German sociologist, Leo Lowenthal, who did this study, and he noticed this marked shift from what he called idols of production, these self-made individuals, to what he called idols of consumption, the celebrity world. And fame now, I think, is doing another shift to idols of promotion. It's based on people following you on social media. As long as you have more than like 100,000 people follow you, that's kind of what famous is today. You see YouTubers who are famous for opening gifts. You have people who are famous for playing video games. The internet really took away all that gatekeeper stuff. The fans can get to you like it's a direct connection. It's really about the people that have the right to have an opinion. I'll go to an Asian beauty blogger because their eye is shaped similar to mine. Just because Chrissy Teigen or Beyonce is wearing it, that's the eyeliner I'm going to buy. Who we decide to follow, and we give them a path to fame. So it is more democratic today. 50 years ago, um, you as an individual couldn't film a TV ad for yourself and then distribute it to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of households. Today, you can. And those million followers you know, help you make $200 million in the box office. The work is always gonna speak for itself. I think the average person is closer to fame than they've ever been because you have the tools. The cost of creating content has actually come down dramatically. I think it's easier to become famous, but it's harder to be a famous person. You have to constantly watch what you're saying. People want to pursue their passion projects. They want to get paid to do what they love. But with that comes pleasing followers, appealing to advertisers. My followers are called the Stevenators, and so like, we have our own little family. Through direct messages, comments, liking, following, all of it. Nowadays, there is no separation between your real life and your celebrity life. And that can go a little too far, like I don't see to deliver your child, like that's personal, you keep that. Instagram, Facebook, you damn near live with them. Watch they snap all day long. The more relatable you are, you feel like you know them, and I think that's really what it comes down to. I get to see and hear directly the effect that a song or that an album has had on fans, and that's inspiring. I'm grateful for social media. Although I did see a video today that said that I sold my soul to the devil, and I thought it was hilarious, because I don't even know the devil. That human need for attention has always sort of been there. And now, with YouTube, or Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram, you get to see people you know exhibiting that same behavior, only they're not doing it for a camera crew, they're doing it for you. Being able to engineer your own fame and your own celebrity has changed, and will continue to reinvent itself over the next couple years.